Hi guys, this is Annie from Mommy Trades. So I hope everyone is doing fine. I just got done putting down my kids to sleep and was reviewing some charts. So here I am. Um, well, I've been approached by many of you to put together a guide that um, will go over, all, you know, will go over my overall trading strategies and framework that I use. Um, that's very uh, broad term. So it will take me some time to put it all together in a meaningful way. But I want to touch on not only the basics, but also want to cover the topic areas such as how to draw trend lines, how to react uh, uh, to read price bars, also known as candlesticks. And I'm, I'm not talking their shapes only, but how they appear within a price zone and around resistances and support levels. Um, I also want to cover trading in multiple time frames and, and then drilling down to a shorter time frame to where you can time your entries. Um, talking about discipline and patience, now, now these are two variables that everyone struggles with. It's, it's, it's a reality and when real money is at stake, it's, it's really hard not to be impatient. Mm, I, I will put together a few pointers that has helped me form a sound trading psychology. And, and I think it can help any trader who's looking to go full-time or even is just a part-time trader. The goal is to empower you with the right thought process and a trading setup. So that would not only improve the positive expectancy of the trade that you're taking, but also it gives you the confidence at the time where you when you're entering a trade. So for for I mean as far as I believe and um you should never be predicting the price. You should only be following or reacting to the price. I as you can see that I'm a big advocate of price action. In my opinion, indicators, chart patterns, momentum studies, um all of these are secondary. They, they can help you narrow down your candidates for a trade or they can build your confidence towards a trade. But for me, what matters the most is price and volume itself. So now here I'm going to give you an example on a one minute chart, um, none other than my favorite NASDAQ futures, NQ futures. So these price candles here, these price bars here, they're representing one minute of price action in NASDAQ futures. So um, let us move forward one minute each and, and read and try to read into the price. Whenever I take a trade, I, I like to create a story and then ease into the shoes of the trader. So we will take the trade when the opportunity presents itself. We're not going to force a trade here. We are just going to see if our, all our specifications are completed and then we're get, going to get into the trade. So um, as I told you that um, this is the NASDAQ futures chart, minute candles. So I am going to draw some trend lines here just to see what's going on and where's the price directing us. So right now at this level, you can see it's 7631. This is support. So why do I call it support? Because the it has the price has bounced back multiple times as it tries to um, slice through. Um, we have made a lower high here. So it has followed by a big red candle that shows us that sellers are in control. Now on this loss, you can see it's a hammer. So buyers are on their side trying to defend the level. Since, since I am looking to go short, I will wait for the price to close below 7631, which is the support. So I am going to wait one more minute and the buyers push the price back up here. Still, there is no trade. So next one again, I see there is a big red candle and it's closing below the support level of 7631. Now, this is my signal and I'm going to go short right below it. So let's see what happens next. So I shorted at 7630.5 and you can see the next few candles are red. And I'm getting my, you know, quick points here for eighty to hundred dollars, and I'm out of the trade. 
Now you can apply the same trading approach in stocks and options also. And if you don't want to scalp, that is fine. You can just move to a higher time frame. And of course, when you move to a higher time frame, there are other indicators that you should use to time your entry or you are to take an entry. So let me show you um, an example here of the stock. So I'm doing um, this, I'm, I'm presenting you an example with the Facebook. Um, this is a Facebook daily chart from today. So I needed one of the candles to close above 190. Now 190 is a support level here. So it did not give it did not give me a close above 190 on a daily chart. So since I wanted to do it on a shorter time frame, I'm gonna move on to a hourly candle here, hourly chart here I pulled out. Now in the hourly chart, you see that there is no close above the 190, which is the blue line right here. Sorry guys, um, that was my little one. Okay, so you see that there was no close above the 190 level, which is the blue line here, like the candles, they kept on going up, but they did not close above 190 level to confirm a bullish flow. And um, the cloud bottom was also resistance there. And MACD is trying to get a golden cross in the hourly, but still it's flat. Like the K line is not moving away from the signal line. So I move on to an even shorter time frame, which would be the 15 minute chart here. Now here you can see that the candle did close. It did give me a close a couple of times above the 190 level that I was looking for to get into the trade. But the reason that I did not get into the trade was that I did not get any follow through. You can see the candle next to the to the green uh, to the to the green candle that closed above the 190 is a red candle here that shows that there is no follow through and in the in the in the neck in the in the last box that I'm right here it 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 breaks down the support level and it closes below the support line so the chart kept on fading on the hourly because the because of the 15 minute chart you can see that there was no follow through. So um, this is how I kind of um, uh, apply my strategies when I'm doing stocks um, and uh, uh, the indicators that I uh, that I use. Um, I've talked about all of these in detail in the guide that I'm putting together. Um, it will also include some of the setups that I already have published on my website. Um, also, um, I like you to see the real charts and I would like you to experience different scenarios and do some back testing while we are um, uh, going through the process of learning. So um, there will be some practice charts so you can get some experience out of those too. And I will keep you posted about my guide and the trading tutorials that I'm working with, uh, 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 working on. In, uh, as soon as they're out, I will I will keep you guys posted on those. So you can see that I have uh, completed 20 uh, pages worth of information here, and it includes the candlestick shapes, trend lines in detail, price action, trading framework, how to read multiple time frame chart, and and also timing your entries. And um, it would also include scanners and some other material around discipline and patience. And this will help any beginner or any experienced trader to learn more about trading and to get better at it. Um, so, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this little video uh, and um, stay tuned for more information. And you guys have a great rest of the week. Uh, take care and uh, bye bye from Mommy Trades. Thank you for listening.